special night here in Winnipeg as the Blue Bombers kick off their 80th season against Eastern rival Hamilton Tiger Cats. And we get set to kick off a new season for these two Eastern Division teams. And away we go. This is Marcus Thickpen, just picked up on June 23rd for this very return. And Marcus Thickpen is going to open up the season with a kick return touchdown. Well, they surprised some people by picking him up and inserting him right in the lineup from Saskatchewan. 88 yards and a touchdown to kick off the year. Second and six. Here comes the rush, and Pierce is flashed. And he'll take off and has some running room across midfield and slides feet first, which a lot of fans will like, and they'll like that kind of running from Buck Pierce to the Ticat 40. Expect to see Reed as a receiver a lot more this season. And that pass is batted down. Here's the left to Cerna from 26 yards out. And the first drive of the year for the Bombers results in points. Second and 10. And Pierce looks downfield. He's got Terrence Edwards wide open. For Brace, and Edwards is going to win that. All the way for a touchdown. 90 yards. Pierce to Edwards, who got in behind Jason Shivers. They begin here at their 35. Pressure again, and Glenn is taken down. Bombers boast a lot of speed from their ends. Hunt and Willis. And Philip Hunt jocks up his first sack of the night. Preseason, he had 247 yards passing in one half. Pressure, and they get to him. And down he goes. And that's the second sack of the, the opening half for Philip Hunt. If not for the pressure, they get to Pelardi. It's blocked. A race for the ball in the goal line, and it'll be batted around there. And the Bombers get on. It's a touchdown as they block the rookie punter. What a big play and momentum grab for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Here, Luke Labe, the third year linebacker, special teams player, comes up with a touchdown. Pierce steps up, takes off, and again hits the deck quickly, but looks like he's got enough for the first down. 177 yards rushing last year. He's been halfway there already. Here's wide open. Terrence Edwards touchdown. Oh boy, this is a tremendous play call. Well, they've got a little chemistry, as Chuck Climby mentioned. Alexis Serna trying to add to the lead. Our thanks to Milt Stiegel for checking in with us. And Serna lines that one wide. And we're going to get a return. Marcus Thickpen once again. And how about Marcus Thigpen with a burst? Nobody's going to catch him. He's done it again. A kick return touchdown to open the game. And now a missed field goal for 119 yards. Tremendous burst in the hole. And as he smooth on those cuts, when he could go left to right without losing any forward momentum, it is tough to cover a guy like that. Cerna to miss the field goal, and one thing compounds onto the other. Cerna's missed two, and both on similar type holds. Fred Reed shoots through, and now this is a pit race. And Marquis Gordon catches him. Well, that's Fred Reed's biggest play of the night, the 47 yard burst. Huge response by Winnipeg. Osterhaus lines up at tight end, and Stephen Giles will plunge for the touchdown. So the Bombers didn't blink. They bounce right back. Are worthy of the hype they have been tonight, especially Hunt. Here they come again. Glenn steps up, and he has a completion. And Mark Way McDaniel with a big catch. Down to the Winnipeg 39. This would appear to be a must. And now he goes to McDaniel to the edge, and he's in. Got the pylon. Mark Way McDaniel's been money tonight for Kevin Glenn. Locks ticked under five minutes remaining. Logan stays on the corner. And Kevin Glenn is nailed. That ball came loose. And it looks like Winnipeg's got it. Is that Donnie Urmassian with the football? Hunt gets to the quarterback. And the Bombers come up with the football. Bombers trying to get the upper hand early. Buck Pierce calls his own number. Buck Pierce, touchdown. No feet first slide there. 
pitch it by Pierce. And it's important when he needs to move the chains, when he needs to put that dagger in the chest of the opponent, he'll battle. A boatload of reasons to put a pick to celebrate tonight as Paul Apolise leaps his first as a head coach in the CFL.